I'm going to show you a way of getting very, very cheap water. If you've built a koi pond like I have, and you're on a water meter, stick around for this video, because this could help you out get a little bit of money knocked off your water bill. Check this out. Right then, so uh, we got Southwest Water out to fit me meter. We'll just uh, run through a few things real quickly while you're on camera. So to have one of these fitted, mate, what do you have to use in water to benefit from having one? I'd say about three cubic meters a year. About three cubic meters a year, yeah, wicked. Yeah, to justify paying the £6.50 a year sanding charge. Wicked. And how much money or discount do I get by having this fitted? Um, so this, you, you get billed roughly £5.40 on your main meter. And if you have your secondary meter, the EU meter, they will bill you on that one roughly £1.80 per cubic metre. So you're getting a difference of about £3.60 less, I'd say. So it's well worth me uh, putting that soak away in place. Definitely, yeah. Definitely going to be worth it with the amount you're using. Thanks very much, mate. No Happy worries. days. <laughs> right then, so this is the other meter that's fitted in place. So as you can see here, since it's been, uh, been running on the pond... It's just started to calculate up now what I'm using on this really slow trickle into the pond, 24-7. I'll take you outside of here and I'll explain a little bit more about it because we don't want to be talking in here about a meter, do we? So let's get out here and have a little look. Right then, so moving out in the garden. So I'll try to explain as much as I can. So a lot of you know, I'm constantly running a trickle into my pond. I am thinking about maybe moving this trickle, moving it over to this corner, tucking it underneath, because a lot of people said that um, where it's too, a lot of my clean water is getting washed down the skimmer. It's not as good as what it was when it was returning up there, but it's more tidy, everything's in the filter race. Going along that, that meter that I've got there, so I can get some discount to this pond and this water, the discount that I'm saving from the water, is because when I built this pond, I found out that I had a trouble or a problem with a soak away that was down there, which I discovered when I built this pond, I never knew it existed. That said, I found that it was a problem and I had to re-foundation underneath my conservatory, put three and a half ton of concrete I put down there to support up this because I found where the old soak away was, there was loads of little rat holes underneath my conservatory and I thought it was rat holes, but it wasn't. It was where water was tunneling in underneath the conservatory and it just wasn't good enough. So I had to replace the whole lot, put a new drain line all the way down the back Way down the back underneath the foundations here. I've fitted myself a silt trap that's there, which takes out any of the sediment from the roof, moss, and uh, any of my pond water, any of the dirty algae. And where that goes then is down here, underneath this, this whole area, I dug a massive two meter hole down into the ground the soak away crates that I put in here holds up to two cubic meters of water but the sand and the soil that I've got and the and the drainage that I've got there it soaks away the water any of the water it's just a massive soak away so that's how you get your discount off your water bill by installing a massive soak away so the plan worked out I'm going to save a little bit of money and that only means one thing I've got more money but I'm not paying in water bills to invest back into the pond for food and things like that so it's only just been set up now it's took a while to get set up backwards and forwards with the water companies because unless you do everything right and and unless you log it of everything what you've done they don't want to give you any discount pretty much and i've managed to get the discount now they can't charge you for any water that you're not putting down into their pipes they can't charge you for if you're getting rid of it in your own back garden I could have saved myself even more money. All of the rainwater that comes off of the house, it also goes into my soak away. But because of uh, only 50% of that rainwater, which comes off of the building, goes into the house, I could only save the water that I put into the pond. They wouldn't allow the 50% from the house to go into the soak away. I needed the full 100% front and back to save that money as well. But... Um, I'm more than happy. The only reason why I'd done it was for the pond. The £6 a year that it cost to have that meter put in place is going to be well worth it. I'm going to see massive benefits over the year. For what I'm using every week, I will save that £6 within the first week. So uh, anyone building a pond, if you're in the southwest, I don't know if it works around the whole of the world or the UK and different water supplies 
or services. But I know for Southwest Water, if you want a bit of discount off your water bill, especially if you're on a water meter, check back my old videos, what I did with the soak away, how I had to build it, how I put it in. And then obviously now you can see with the videos, I got myself a bit of discount. Happy, happy days. So yeah, I'm buzzing about it. I told you all months and months ago, I was gonna show you and tell you how to get a discount off your pond, off your water supply for the pond. And it all depends really on where you live in the world, I suppose, and uh, if you're on a water meter or not. But for the people that are on a meter, I did tell them that you could get free water down to a point because it is pretty much free, hell of a discount, and I'm over the moon with it, to be fair. So the where I've put my meter there, which is totally legal, it's totally fine. Um, any water that I use in my back garden, whether that be for pressure washing the garden, I can't complain at that, I told you all it was going to happen. And it's definitely worth checking out my other videos. If you haven't seen the other videos, go back, check back, look at what I had to do with the soak away. I've got to admit, it wasn't cheap and it wasn't easy. I had to dig a massive hole. I love a lot of hard work, but it was good fun doing it as well. Kept me busy. And as we say on this channel, thank your mother for the rabbits. Right then, so just before we go really on this video, I wanted to add a little few things extra really, just because I've been commented a few times and I thought the best way of me doing it is just to chuck it straight in a video, explain it to the best I can. I hope I explain it right. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But from what I believe, what I'm about to say is 100% true. So to start with, my water comes in through the tap, comes up through a three stage dechlorinator, and then it runs through a big blue. A lot of koi keepers in the UK are using these three stage dechlorinators and they're also using these big blues. Very, very good bits of equipment if you've got take out chlorine from your water. I know in the UK there's something that we got to deal with. We've got to take out chlorine and chloramine. But moving on from that, there's a lot of people that get confused of how to take out chloramine from their water and they don't know if they've got chlorine in their system or chloramine. Well, this only stands for what I think and believe is true from what I've been told. So to work out in your tap water supply, if you've got chlorine or chloramine into your water, is that when you do a test and the best way of testing, I'm not saying that you have to use these, but this is a more accurate way to work out if you've got chlorine or chloramine, is these HANA test kits are really, really useful. Your fact that you can test if you've got chlorine in your water, in your tap water supply, and if you've also got ammonia in your tap water supply. I'll say that again, if you've got ammonia in your tap water supply, that means you need to be taking out chloramine from your tap water supply. So in these three stage filters that you use, the standard blocks that you get doesn't always mean that you're taking out chloramine. You have to use a different type of carbon. That bloke there knows everything you need to know about water, what carbon blocks you need, and he'll give you his best advice because he did with me and it's helped me out godsend. Me just telling you real quickly, if you've got ammonia in your tap water supply, you need to make sure that you're using a different type of carbon to take out chloramine. You've only got chlorine to take out of your tap water supply. You haven't got no ammonia in your tap water supply. That means you haven't got chloramine. So you only have to deal with chlorine. Easier way with just normal active carbon will take out just chlorine. Is that you don't have to use a HANA test kit. You can use DPD number four tablets and you don't have to use a HANA ammonia test kit, you can use NT Labs or Colombo test kits. The only advantage with the HANA test kits is that it gives you an exact reading and knowing exactly how much chlorine or how much ammonia that you've got in your system instead of looking at a colour, i.e. DPD number four tablets being pink or a HANA test kit being the exact decimal point to a total chlorine in your pond. And then moving on from that, the exact same with the ammonia. Instead of guessing what the colour is with the amount of ammonia, the HANA test kit will give you the exact amount of ammonia. But I'm also stating that you don't need to have either or. The only way of checking is if you've got one of them. But what I'm getting at, end term result, is that the difference between chlorine and chloramine will be a massive, massive improvement to your koi keeping if you know exactly if you're dealing with chlorine, chloramine or both. And that being said, I'm only trying to help people out I'm only trying to give people advice on what I've learned 
But if you want to know more, and if you want to be 100%, like I said a minute ago, get hold of Finch Filtrations, let, speak to him, he's the man in the know, I'm just trying to pass on what I've learned from him, what I think's correct, if I've understood it correctly. That being said, thank you mother for the rabbits, hope you liked the video, hope you can save yourself a bit of money on that water, and I'll see you all on the next one, because I bought this one, and I didn't even need it.